Uh, hello everyone, we are GDOS, Teacher Design and Trial System, and we are TW002. <coughs> okay. So, as you guys have seen, that's our demo. And now on, I would like to use this PowerPoint to share our some details, techniques, and our key concepts, and something about the system to you. So first, I would like to ask you guys, What's this? T-shirt. Yeah, a t-shirt, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> what is a t-shirt? Okay. According to Encyclopedia, this is a t-shirt definition. A t-shirt is uh, no. I think the only thing you have to know is that t-shirt is a kind of shirt. And it is one of the most popular wearing on earth. Yep. So people people like to People like to wear t-shirt during leisure time, including me, my parents, and I, I believe that you all do. So we know that t-shirt is kind of a general casual wearing. So how do we get t-shirt? How can we get a t-shirt? Generally, generally, there are two ways. The first way, the most simple and direct way, we can go to a store and buy one. <coughs> or second, you can go on the internet and buy from the online stores like eBay or Yahoo or Amazon. If you are lazy just like me, then you may prefer this kind of way. Yeah. And now I would like um, I would like to first focus on going to a store and buy a shirt in a store. Uh, I think many of you have this experience, and you walk into a store and you find that find out that there's lots of lots of lots of t-shirts. And you need to spend lots of time walking all around the store and to see if there's good looking t-shirts. And you need to spend plenty of time trying them on. So I was thinking about it's kind of a little bit wasting our time. Because you not only you not only need to look for the shirt, but also you need you need to try it on to make sure that these good looking shirts really fits you. You have to make sure that these good looking shirts really looks good on you. So, to be furthermore, we performed a research on NTU students. Yeah, because we are curious about how many shirts will one people try on before he decided to buy one. And the, the result is average. We are, people will try on 5.3 t-shirt before they actually buy one. So, can you see, can you imagine that? Before you buy a t-shirt at home, you have to first try 5.3 t-shirt. So we go to take a picture of 5 t-shirt. Yeah. So we and we really buy one. It's on his his <laughs> yeah. So we are thinking about it's a kind of waste of time. How can we save time? So can you imagine that? There's a system in the shop. And you just need to stand in front of that system. And only with the simple switches, you can get you can try on all the T-shirts in the store, and you can change into all kinds of colors. Yeah. And next, I would like to talk about online shopping. As you can see in this chart, this is, this chart is made from Market Intelligence and Consulting Institute. Okay. We know that the market, uh, the money spent in online shopping, especially in the wearings is growing rapidly. Cool. Okay. And we know that in 2010, the money spent in online shopping is 50 billion NT dollars in Taiwan. So, if we use 50 NT billion NT dollars, multiple 16.9%, it means that in 2010, we have spent eight, almost 8.5 billion in online shopping, especially in shirts. So, we're thinking about how do we, um, how do we get more money from customers? How can we raise the extent of satisfaction while they shop online? So, imagine that. When you see a picture on eBay, when you see a t-shirt, and only just a click, you can see yourself wearing that t-shirt on the monitor. So imagine that. 
if this really happens, then the customers will be, maybe will be more willing to shop online because they won't face the problem. They won't face the problem that they doesn't um, they buy the shirt and find out that it doesn't fit yourself. Okay. So, in order to meet the condition, meet the uh, to meet the these two these two conditions, um, here comes Tito's. Yeah, and I think you guys, all of you guys, now may have a question: Is why Tito's? Why should we use Tito's? Because there's lots of lots of other existing systems. So now I'll use um, a few minutes to let you know what's the difference between our system and the other existing systems. And we are going to compare with two other systems. First one, <coughs> the Kinect Thinking Room. It is a try-on system which, which is already used in a real, real shop in Moscow. And the second one, the FitNet, which is created by Microsoft. And as you guys can see, these two pictures, they, they both use the techniques of pasting pictures onto the body. So you may find out that these places is extremely weird. Can you see that? You just paste a picture on it, but this kind of shirt you are wearing is still over there. So it's kind of weird. And next, we, we find out that the, the, the wearing that Kinect Fitting Room provides us to choose they all don't they all don't have sleeves. Why? This is because that they cannot simulate the arm motion. Because it's a little bit too complex. Okay. Oops. Oh they I'm sorry. They do have a t-shirt with sleeves. But as you can see, the sleeve is straight and their arms are bent. Okay, and next. This is Finec 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 system. A girl is moving from her right toward her left. But you found out that after her body shifts to, to toward her left, the teacher is still at the original place. So this means that they're not that real time. Okay. And the last one. We can see that on, on the left side, this system, they don't have any phones. And on the right side, they have phones, but it's pre-made. So no matter how you move your body, the phones are, are just the same. So, I would like to do a simple graph to compare our system and theirs. Um, I think Kinect Fitting Room is just like over here. It's not real, it is, it's not real time and it has no shadows and folds. And Finet is better over here. And then where's Tito's? Here or no? But we are humble and we know that we, have, we still have lots more to improve. So we are about here. Yeah. Okay, so in short, these two systems, they don't look real, but we do. Yeah. And now let's take a quick review of the function we have. First, color changing. And second, cost customized picture. Third, locate picture. Fourth, scaling. And the last one, we can simulation, rotation, and foldings. Okay, then the question now would be how Tito does. Um, one of the most key problems of the tissue simulation is that how the tissue falls or <coughs> rotates with our body motion. But uh, as we know, it is hard, it's difficult and a bit too slow to modify a tissue image to fit in our body motion. So our key concept is that we combine with the folds and shadow of the original tissue combine it with the color and pattern of our tablet t-shirt to simulate a real t-shirt individual. This is our key concept. And the next, this is a, a small diagram to illustrate our structure of the system. The image of the users is coming in from the camera and is stored in the SD RAM and SS RAM. The flash memory stores our built-in patterns. And um, before upload to the exhibition monitor, we have some image processing, including the close detection and a color adjusting, pattern adjusting. We are going to have an in-depth discussion about this problem. The first basic technique is the skin detection. 
For example, the left picture, the skin are detected and colored as red as the right picture. Our detection method is adapted from a paper from Marshall. According to his result, the skin, of the, the skin color is more explicit in a light CDCR color space. Therefore, we will transform the RGB values of the pixels into the YCBCR and then determine it if it is the skin by the conditions. After we can detect the skin, we can detect the position of the tissue on so far. After we filtering out the background and the skin part, for example, with this yellow line, the tissue is identified as the blue line. However, there is some of it, mm, for example, these two yellow lines. There are some noises and the skin in the tissue. So we use the maximum subarray algorithm to tolerate these noises. So even there is skin in the tissue, we can still identify the outline of the tissue. So we can get the tissue now. So we can modify the color of the tissue. And as we have mentioned, we do not just simply replace the color to the target color. On the contrary, we use a formula, a little formula, to adapt it and mix up the original and the target color. The formula is over here. We consider both the brightness of the original t-shirt and the target color. So the fold will exist naturally. And uh, let's talk about the pattern selection. We provide two ways to select a, select a pattern. Well, the first one is the building pattern. We've stored this in a flash memory. And the second one is the user design pattern. Only three steps are needed. The first one, draw a picture. And the second, take a picture. And uh, 2.5, we have a little image processing after you take the photo. We first uh, remove the background. So if the picture is have, have a white background, it will be removed. So if you change your color, the, the picture will have no back, uh, white background. And uh, there are some complex memory control here, but we can just skip here now. So in finally, in step three, we can try out a new t-shirt. And about placement, there are two ways as well. The first one is using gestures. In this mode, the pattern will be placed under the color by default. We can detect the color by the skin and the clothes as before. So the pattern will be placed under the color. And if the user wants to remove the pattern, he can use pointing down his fingers. And we can detect the finger's position. After remembering the displacement of the gesture and the color, we can put over there afterward. And the next the last technique is about the 3 stickers. As before, we can detect the stickers by maximum subarray algorithm. So after we got the positions of the stickers, we can put the scale the pattern into the into the stickers. And after all, where could the titles become computations? Uh, the answer is almost everywhere. The first one, we can cooperate with the online and the real-life clothes shopping stores. The customers can try on all of the t-shirts they like, and he will make a more precise decision, especially for the online shoppers, because they do not have t-shirts to try on. And for the next, we allow everyone to become a t-shirt designer, uh, both the experienced expert or the uh, little kid. They, can, they could draw their own t-shirt design. And this is, could be sent to the manufacturer, and his dream design t-shirt will come true. And what talking about a little future work? Our system can be extended to any other kind of shirts. For example, we can simulate a polo shirt, a suit, or any kind, other kind of shirts, even the user just wear a t-shirt. So this will be more com convenient and flexible. Above is our presentation of our about our details. Thanks very much.